And our top story is the death, according to Russian news agencies, of the opposition figure Alexei Navalny. He had been moved in December to a prison not far from the Arctic Circle in the Yamalo Nenets region, almost 2,000 kilometers north of Moscow, a controversial ultra nationalist. Navalny had been in prison uh, since 2021, and he was known as the biggest opponent to Vladimir Putin. Presidential elections are expected to be held uh, in Russia uh, in March. Uh, for more, uh, our guest on this uh, breaking news is Alexander Filipenko, a political analyst joining us uh, from Lithuania. Thank you so much for joining us at uh, last minute learning about this, this news. Can we trust this information? We still don't know. We still don't have the official confirmation from the family. So I must say that uh, everyone is still hopeful. There is still some kind of a risk of hope, but uh, it looks like uh, it really has happened. And uh, just yesterday, Alexei Navalny was uh, cheerful and upbeat uh, at the court hearing via video link from HARP, from that uh, far, far away colony. Uh, almost every day they were court hearings on the multiple cases uh, against Alexei Navalny, and he uh, was never present uh, at the court. He was always present via video links. And just yesterday, uh, he looked just fine. Uh, so it looks that uh, either the if, if what uh, has been reported by uh, Russian officials is true, and according to Russian state media, President Putin already knows that Alexei Navalny is dead. If if this is true, it uh, first of all, the first thing that comes to mind is that uh, he was poisoned again. Uh, because again, as, as I've said just yesterday, he looked so upbeat. And just a few days ago, his uh, um, uh, two days ago, basically, in, on Wednesday, his uh, lawyer uh, saw him personally, and he didn't um, mention and he didn't say that anything was wrong with Alexei Navalny. So uh, we must follow, of course, and um, wait for the official confirmation from the family. But if the horrible news is true, uh, then uh, the next question is whether we will ever know the truth what actually happened to Alexei Navalny. Yeah, I, I imagine that one of the reasons that he was moved to that penal colony almost 2,000 kilometers away from Moscow is to kind of keep him uh, as far away from prying eyes uh, as possible. Absolutely. This was uh, one of the main reasons uh, for him to be kept that far away, because uh, Russian opposition still sees him, or uh, or should I say saw him, as uh, the hopeful figure, as the future leader of the country, of the free Russia that he called the, the future free Russia, as he called it. And uh, everyone saw him as a uniting figure. Uh, Russian opposition is not fully united. Of course, uh, there are different uh, um, op opposition leaders, but Alexei Navalny was the name in the Russian opposition. He was the person and the leader of the opposition. And uh, he, uh, his name was also associated with hope. And he was, uh, and uh, it's difficult to say was, it's very heartbreaking. Uh, but it's uh, his name was always associated with the future hope for Russia that changes might come. Because Almost all other opposition figures are in exile, are they, they immigrated, or there is another one who is in, in prison right now. And, uh, of course, everyone is extremely worried about him.